Hello, my friends. I'm Zelda Kelly with Psychic Secrets, and welcome here. And I want to show you something. You know, as a reader, and many of you who are and who read all the time, you know that your decks start showing wear. And I took out this deck today to do the January 1st week of 2024 reading. And this little guy fell out, and I searched for the card that he goes to, and it looks like it goes right there. Some other cards are showing where. Let's see what this card is for you. Oh, it's the Knight of Wands, which means fiery. He puts things into action. Look at his little horse there. He's just ready to zippity doo dah right on out of here and bring you some action of opening doors and sprouting new opportunity. Look, he's ready to race into race into things. That's what's going to happen for you this new year of 2024. Open doors. Yes, there's going to be some tough times. Yes, we're going to have to pull together and get through it. But we can do it. And this Knight of Wands tells us. But I digress. I wanted to show you my cards. And I wanted to share a little something. Now, I'm going to repair this. And you may say, well, Zelda, you know, does that ruin the deck? Uh, no. Actually, the more you read, the more seasoned the cards become, and the more they get used to your energy and how you read. Because each card, and look at this one, that one's, that one's getting, you know, mangled up, the two of, you know, look, look. But you know what? That's okay. Because as time goes on, the, the more you use the cards, the better the reading. It's like you, you get into this groove and the cards know your energy. That's why I have a lot of cards. And quite frankly, that's why I give my cards a time to rest. And I use different cards as I get new decks. And actually, I've got a new one showing up this week, and that's going to be really fun. It's a different type of card. I can't wait to show it to you. But in the meantime, I wanted to show you this because, yes, while these cards show a little wear and show a little tear, just like that, it doesn't mean that it affects your reading at all. What it means is you're going to get one of the better readings you could possibly get. And I'm just going to say... Uh, I will keep this deck probably until it falls apart in my hands. I had a deck like that one time. I was living in Gatlinburg, Tennessee, and I was reading a lot of playing cards. And then there was an old bookstore on the main parkway as you went into Gatlinburg from the mountains or from what they call the spur from Pigeon Forge into Gatlinburg. Many of you may know that, but years ago, year years years, I go back years ago, there was a bookstore on the left-hand side that had a deck of cards that were just beautiful. And on the back was the picture of the sign, the Great Smoky Mountains. And it was the sign that when you left Gatlinburg and went into the National Park, it was that wooden sign, Great Smoky Mountains. I loved those cards. They were not coated in plastic. These are they were just a paper card, and I can tell you, I read with those cards for years. I kept them covered very carefully in a little black cloth, and I was careful, and I used them on special occasions, and it just got to the point where, well, they were falling apart. And there was a day that I took them out of, of the little box, it's a little oval box of just beautiful. And when I was shuffling, they just fell apart in pieces on my table. And at that time, this grief fell over me because I thought, oh my gosh, these are the best cards that I've ever read with. This, what am I going to do? And then I heard my inner self say, will you get another deck, dummy? <laughs> and then I've learned from that moment on that you get another deck and you start working with new cards while you're still working with with the good ones with with these wonderful ones and 
you break the new ones in so that you can transition if something happens with a new deck. You know, I have another deck. Give me a second. I'm going to show it to you. I call this deck my old boy. I've had this deck for a long time now. It is holding up a little better than this one on the outside. But i got to show you some of these cards. Look, look. Some of these cards are faded. They're, you know, they're, some of the print is bleeding through. That's okay. It's the same, I mean... It's the same. So if you see me using these, you can't say that I'm using janky cards. Look at this one. Because the meanings are still the same. You don't have to worry. If you see me use these cards and you hear me say, I've got the old boy, well, look at this. Then you know that your reading is going to be really in-depth, really intense, and spot-on. And I just may use these and this to give you your January 2024 first week reading, and I think I will. But I wanted to share that with you today because some of the cards that you see, well, they may, they may not look like you would see traditionally. This is the sign of a card reader. Now, if you want to know the miles that I have on these, well, let me just say this. I've clocked them through all the videos and all the personal readings that I have with private clients and so forth. Probably within the last year and a half, 18 months, these cards have done well over 2,400. That's 2,400. I think it's 2,406 readings and counting. Lifetime, I've done in well into the hundreds of thousands of readings. So that'll just give you an idea and a perspective of how things go. And I just wanted to share that with you today. And thank you so much for being here and being with me in a new year of 2024. Now let's get busy. See you soon.